So I recently got another excellent question from a student of mine in one of my Excel classes that I host on Udemy. Take a look. Open in front of you, I've got a simple little set of data. It's monthly data. Now below each month, I've got some numeric values. Perhaps these represent sales or inventory numbers or some type of count of some value, whatever it is. Okay. Months, January through December, and you can see there at the end, I've got a total. Now the question was, I want to build a filter for specific months. Perhaps I just want to see April through August. I really don't care about January, February, March, or September, October, November, December. I just want April to August. Now traditionally, a filter could be applied instead of a list like this. But with the traditional filter inside of Excel, you would filter records. Perhaps I just want to see record number three or record number one. I don't care about two and three. I just want to see number one. Well, that's filtering vertically. That's filtering records. Here, I really need to filter horizontally. I want to build a filter for specific months or specific, a specific month range. That was really the question. I got columns here. I don't care about seeing all the columns. I could hide them. Then I'd have to unhide them and hide them and unhide them and do that whole back and forth game here. And that's a bit of work. Can't we just quickly filter this? Well, this really got me thinking, and I love this question. I love any questions that I that I really have to stop and think. What do we have to do inside of Excel to accomplish this? Well, I couldn't find anything just built out of the box within Excel. So I, I built a little bit of Visual Basic to help us automate this task. Now, on top of the question, not only did we want to filter for a month range, but I wanted to do it based on a cell's value. So you can see here towards the top left corner of my screen, I've got a start month and an end month. And they're little drop downs just to give me a list of all the months there. So I can say, you know what? I want just August through December, just the end of the month. That's all I care about. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Oh, in July, I don't care about. But August to December, that's what I want to see. So now I click the Apply Filter button, and it's now filtered my list, August to December, and updated my totals. I could reset the filter, take me back to January through December again, and then I can quickly refilter the data. Let's go from May through June. Just two months there, I'll apply the filter, and I've got that data that I'm looking for. So this is a little bit of visual basic magic. You're gonna see I'm gonna open it up in front of you here. I place comments in it to help you dissect the code and really take a look at it. Uh, I'm also going to show off a little bit of what I'm doing in there, but I'll really kind of leave it up to you to read through the code and get to know a little bit more of the visual basic there. So first I'm gonna reset, reset it to get back all my data. And on my keyboard, I'm gonna press Alt F11. This will open up my visual basic for application window. And you can see I've got a sub procedure in here called filter months. And you can see I put comments in there to help describe what's going on. If I scroll down, I've got another one for reset month filter, a little bit of comments in there. And then I've got one, this one's a public function. So this is the, does the recalculation of the column totals. And I got some comments through there as well. It's actually a pretty straightforward script here. But let me jump up above once again. This first one, filter months, this is tied to the button here, apply filter. The next one, reset month filter, this one's tied to the reset filter button. And then the last one, sum filtered columns, this one asks for a range of data. This one is used within the calculations here for the total column. If I give that a double click, you'll see that it's using that custom function and I'm passing a range of cells in there. So again, nothing big. Let me reopen that VBA window again. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. I'll, I'll get you started and you can kind of dig through the rest. You know, feel free to pause the video, capture this screen, take a look at what's happening here. So for filter months, remember the idea was, I don't want to see all the months, but based on some cell values, I want to filter this list. So first thing I did here is create a variable for start month and end month, and then I filled those two variables up with these cell values A1, or excuse me, A2 and B2. So whatever I put into these drop downs here. I then selected my data range, got into C4, which is where January begins. And then I start creating a loop that goes through 
each column header here and checks to see when it finds the start month. So May, it'd say, nope, 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 nope. Oh, there's May, and it would stop. Okay, we're going to hide these columns because they don't match the start date. And then I got a little bit more script here. I've got another loop. First, I jump to the end of the list, which is N4. And then I kind of work backwards, identifying the last column or the end month that I've set within the dropdown. And if it's not equal to the end month, then it hides the column and it continues to check for the next and the next and the next until it finds the end month and then we're good. So that's the filter months. All it's doing is going through the columns, trying to identify if it's within the range. If it isn't, then it hides it. Now the next portion, scroll down here, it's a really simple one, reset month filter. This one just grabs the entire worksheet and unhides all the columns. That's it. And it recalculates. Make sure that it calculates the sheet so that our column totals update as well. The last one, this is a function. So you could use this function called some filtered columns, pass in a range of data. And really it's just a big loop that determines, hey, if from that range that got passed into this function is hidden, then ignore it. If it's not hidden, then I want you to calculate it. Let's put it into the value. And that's really it. Not much more than that. Just loop through all the columns. If it's not hidden, then let's calculate it. So three little scripts, nothing big, but this allows you to create a much more dynamic environment for our users. Give them nice little drop downs to work with, specify what months they're looking for, apply the filter. Oh, let's see October to June. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's change that. Let's see October to December. Let's reset that. And there we have it.